This week on Sport Fishing, we're back at Catalina Island. We're fishing aboard the Triton. We left out of San Pedro, California earlier this morning, made the two hour run here to the island, and we're at the east end of the island right now, really close to Avalon. We're gonna start off looking for some calico bass, some rockfish, and if we get really lucky, maybe some bonita and yellowtail. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez, and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh! Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Gotta toss them back though. <laughs> Oh, 
another baby. Hey, wait, wait. This is a female sheep set. Just got bit on a fly line bait. Skipper made a move, we're right in front of the isthmus now. And I just got bit, feels like a calico. See what it is, there's color. There we go, nice calico bass. Finally a legal bass. Nice calico bass, got him on a fly line. Little sardine, fairly legal bass. Skipper made a move, we started on the east. Working our way west, we're right in front of the Isthmus area, Bird Rock here, and let this one go. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing over at Catalina Island. It's really good fishing, and the fish are eating just about everything. So when you go over on a trip like this, like on the Triton to Catalina Island, you wanna have a variety of tackle with you, because you never know. Sometimes they only want the live bait, sometimes they'll eat the artificials, and like today, they'll eat a little bit of everything. As far as rods and reels, I like something simple like this. Low profile reel. On the 300 size, I go 50 pound spectra. On the 400s model like this one, I go 65 pound spectra. And I carry a wide selection of fluorocarbon with me, anywhere from 20 pounds all the way up to 50. Just in case for some reason I need that heavy line, I have it with me. But it's really nice, I only need to take two rods and reels with me. One 300 series, one 400 series and prepared for everything. Doesn't matter if I'm gonna fly line, live bait with 20 pound, or have to get gear up for a big yellowtail with 40 pound, I can use the same rod and reel, and I'll do really well. Now as far as artificials, the B52 bucktails are great for the bottom fishing, the calico bass fishing, the yellowtails. A B52 bucktail like this, put a strip of squid on it, works out really good, you'll catch lots of fish on these. I'd have everywhere from a half ounce up to two ounces, and if you're gonna go for that deeper fish, a six ounce like this one works out really good. Now the fish are up right on the surface, the calico bass and the yellowtail and the barracuda. And I go with the magic metal light. You just wanna cast this out, work it slow on the surface and those calicos and the yellowtail barracuda jump all over it. Just work it nice and slow on the surface. Works out great with this rod and reel. You'll catch lots of fish on them. Make sure you have a selection of live bait hooks with you too. Size two to size 2.0. That way you're prepared if you're using cut squid for bait anchovies or sardines, you have everything you need. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. That's a keeper. Number one. Be 
Ah, sí. No, 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 I think I got another bass. Let's see what I got here. Oh, calico. Another calico. There we go. Nice big calico. Beautiful fish. Can. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. Right there, turn his box. Oh no. No. Yeah. Turn his um, black box. Have a, a calico. Calico on. Chippy next to the wood. Oh, nice. All right. Oh. Nice. French oil, French oil. Next. On the front of it, just pull it up. On the front, just undo it. Top drawer. Got to measure it. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, congratulations. All right. Okay. on the boat that caught nothing so far. You caught eight bass. Just got bit. Another calico. Let's see what I got here. I think it's a calico. It's acting like a calico. There we go. A couple years ago, I would have had my limit by now. But now that they have to be 14 inches, 
a lot of these fish we have to let go. All right, that one's gonna go back. All right, let's go see if we can get some more fish. This week in the galley, I'm gonna cook you up one of my favorite rockfish dishes. I make this at home all the time. It's basic fish sandwich with local rockfish, fish that we're catching here. So what I like to do is start off with a little bit of olive oil, some butter. Just let those both melt really well. You can hear that. Sounds really good. All right, now it's time to add the fish. So we're gonna add two pieces of fish right here. Now the fish won't take very long to cook. I'll add a little bit of salt, a little pepper. I just use black pepper. You can use paprika too if you like. This, this rockfish is nice and fresh. It's going to cook really fast and you can just watch it as it cooks all the way through the fish. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they're cooking fish is that they flip it and move it all the time. What you want to do is let it take its time and let it cook. While the fish is still cooking, I'm going to put my vegetables in here. I have some bell peppers. And some onions. I just cook them all in the same saucepan like this. I'll put them over the vegetables. Looks really good. Let those vegetables soak up the juices, cook up. For the bread, I have toasted bread that I've toasted. I'm just gonna put a little bit of mayonnaise on here. And to spice it up, I'm gonna use some wasabi. So I'm kind of making like a wasabi mayo. Like I said, this is a very simple dish. I make this lots of times when I'm at home maybe watching a football game, baseball game. I want something simple. I don't want to deep fry it. Don't want to put a lot of batter on it. I just do that. Add a little bit of salt. I always like to add a little citrus, a little bit of lime juice. This just looks so good. So I'm gonna start off with piece of fish, some bell peppers, some onions, a few more bell peppers. That's your fish sandwich. Oh, that's so good. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. This is Paige, she's out here with her dad and her little brother. And she's been fishing with us on our TV show since she was about that tall. So she's out here. One more year left in high school. One more year. One more year. All right, congratulations. Let that one go, he's a little small. And it's pretty wide open here on that fly line bait. We tried a few spots and this is the first one that I really wanted to bite. There's my fish right there in color. There we go. 
Another nice calico. Nice, beautiful fish. Oh, Rachel's got one on. Let's see what she's got. Calico. Alright, go ahead and let this guy go now. There he goes. Alright, we're gonna take a little break from the action and when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For today's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about how we cut all the fish today. And it was real simple fishing. You wanted to use a live bait. We had the smaller sardines today for live bait. So you had to go with the small hook, like a size two, size one maximum. That worked out the best. And for line, I used my 65 pound Spectra, but on top of that, 20 pound fluorocarbon. And that's what I cut all the fish on today. Even the guys catching the Bonita today used 20, 25 pound, and they did well too. Well, I want to thank the crew, the Triton, Captain Shane, Nick, and Mikey. They did a great job. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.